on the road to the final four. We join you from Indianapolis and first round action from the South region. The 11 seed Michigan taking on the six seed Colorado State. The winner here will move on to the second round and meet the survivor of Tennessee Longwood. That's coming up next on CBS. And welcome courts out everybody. I and Eagle along with Jim Spinarco, Jamie Erdahl. So great to be back. March Madness time to dance. I mean, not ready literally, to roll, Jimmy, no. but <laughs> we know that these teams are ready to go. Michigan, they got some unfortunate news. Devontae Jones suffered a concussion in practice. Point guard is not available for the Wolverines, but they still have a whole lot of star power. Yeah, with Hunter Dickinson, it's interesting, I am, because he's a terrific post-up player where he shoots the ball very, very consistently at 56% from the floor. The other thing about him is he passes out of the post, so I would think Michigan's going to get him the ball very often and very early. David Roddy on the Colorado State side, a terrific player scoring at 19 points a game. But one of the keys is with his body size, you would expect him to do just that and drive it towards the basket. A very, very good three-point shooter at about 46% on the season. Nico Medved in his fourth season as the head coach of the Rams. And what a run this program is on culminating in the NCAA tournament berth this year at large out of the Mountain West starting lineups for Michigan who slides in for Devontae Jones it is the freshman Frankie Collins but expect Eli Brooks the 50 year senior to handle the ball quite a bit Colorado State has got a terrific backcourt with Stevens and Moore and Jawan Howard this up and down season for Michigan Howard of course had the five game suspension after the melee in Madison fined forty thousand dollars back for the Big Ten tournament and ready to go with this group. He has a lot of confidence in these guys even without Jones. He believes this team is ready to take that next step. Larry Scarato Jeb Hartness and Justin Porterfield are officiating crew here this afternoon. Remember Michigan was a number one seed in this tournament last year. They went to the Elite Eight tough 51 49 loss to UCLA final four berth was right there for the taking Colorado State first NCAA tournament since 2013 they finished second in the Mountain West to Boise State yeah you look at the size differential just with the jump ball right there that's an indicator of the teams Michigan much taller but watch for Dickinson to get that ball and get his touches down on the blocks early and often in this game. Michigan controls the tip. Diabate to the rim. Missed it. And rebounded by the burly David Roddy. Yeah, not a shot blocking team really with Colorado State only getting three per game. So you would anticipate that they're going to drive this basketball. And a Colorado State team that, that keeps a lot of cuts, a lot of offense, a lot of motion on the floor. Roddy put together a fantastic season. That one short from three-point territory. Michigan coming off a loss in the Big Ten tournament in the second round to Indiana, 74 to 69. They shot just 38 percent in that game. Diabate, the freshman, trying to back in on Roddy. He's a wide body. Yeah, keeping Roddy busy at the defensive end early. Fendoff and a steal. Moore steps in. He's got speed. Got cut off there by Collins. Good decision, too. Here he is down low. He's double teamed over quickly, Roddy. Kick it out. Ball fake from Stevens. Still on the perimeter. Deshaun Thomas, the junior, hands it off. Thomas not shy from out there. Bottom, a three. Well, one of the things you do, too, I when you make that shot, it's obviously very, very good. 38% shooter. But what you're doing is you're dragging Dickinson away from the, the uh, middle of the floor. That'll open up some of those slice cuts for Colorado State. Thomas is a floor spacer at 6'8", 235. Dickinson, big numbers offensively, 18 per game. Tried to split their fenders. Out of bounds. Last touch by Colorado State. Hey, Jimmy, our keys to the game presented by Great Clips. Yeah, you think about it early, obviously establishing Dickinson in the post, but they have to improve their three-point shooting on the outside with Colorado State. It's Roddy and Stevens, and obviously they got to hold their own on the boards with this taller Michigan team. Here's where he's very good, one-on-one. -on -one. Isolation, Dickinson, now the help comes. Dickinson muscles it home for two. Did you notice that Moore tried to double-team on the blocks, but it was a fraction late compared to the last double-team that was executed perfectly. Biggest difference freshman year to sophomore year for Dickinson, improved jump shot. He's now a threat from the perimeter. Roddy's got the smaller Brooks on him. He's got to go fast, though. Oh, the touch 
from David Roddy. He is a walking mismatch. <laughs> that's a good way to describe it, that's for sure. The other way, counted and a foul. The leadership of Eli Brooks is going to be huge today for Jawan Howard. And a nice, smart move, too, by Brooks just then. He recognized nobody from behind here. And you can take it. Where's the shot blockers? They really don't have many big guys to block shots. Good finish, good concentration to finish it off. And the foul on Isaiah Stevens, the junior from Allen, Texas. Eli Brooks feels like he's been at Michigan forever. <laughs> His fingerprints are all over this program out of Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. A little 2-2-1 two, two, there, looking just to slow him down. Deep shot, splash! Isaiah Stevens cans it. One of the top point guards in the country, very elusive in the way he handles himself out on the floor. And coming off a good game of 21 points his last time out, so an active scorer, not only running the show. Cut to the rim, Dickinson couldn't finish it. Offensive board, Diabate clears. Brooks, shooting practice, can't hit the three. Rebounded by the freshman, Houston puts it in. Yeah, I know they get the two out of it, so the board, the size, they're working the offensive glass. But Diabate, I think, has to go up with that one. He had a pretty good opportunity the first time to finish it off. Houston's got excellent size. 6'8", 205 from Mississauga, Ontario. Vacate the area. And now Tanjay gets a touch. A little switch out there for Roddy. Tanjay gives it up. Kendall Moore from Danville, Illinois. Shot clock is down to four. Moore blocked by Dickinson. Triggers the break for Brooks. Houston steps into it. Too strong, he overcooked it. Well, Dickinson read that defensively very well, knowing that there's only three seconds on the shot clock. Brooks takes the hit, no call. Thomas thought about it. Dickinson holds his ground. Just about four minutes gone by in this first half. 8-7 lead for Colorado State. Thomas gets it into the hands of Roddy. He made one earlier, another to Sean Thomas, 38% from downtown. You have to like that in their offense. I mean, as you said a moment ago, he can shoot that ball very, very well. Drag Dickinson away from the basket. That's a nice start for Colorado State. Basically emphasize the outside shot. And the Rams have an 11-7 lead. Frankie Collins has not been heavily involved in the offense so far. Dickinson, drop step, help. Trying to hook a pass inside, it's knocked away. And yeah, there's the double team again from the base side. Base, baseline side. Dickinson may have to post up on the other side and go to the middle. Here's Stevens, mismatch. One-on-one -on -one with the big. Jumper, got it! Isaiah Stevens with a deep shot. You know, they're dragging Dickinson out, but they're also just shooting right over him. Neutralizing his size at roughly seven feet one. Dickinson rolls to the rim, gets proper position, and gets the bounce on the interior. You see the difference there, I am too. When they go to him quickly with that quick hitter, and he goes fast, they don't allow the double teams. And the last trip down, there was a triple team coming out of him. He's such a big target oh, down good. there. Colorado good. State is four of five from three-point territory. Plus, Dickinson has good hands. Look at this now, just breaking him down. Pretty fake. Moore lets it fly. That's an air ball. Rebound. Along the baseline, nice pass. what a save. <laughs> Thomas couldn't Whoa. bank it in. Dickinson with the box out on the interior. Diabate directing traffic. Long run here without many whistles. Collins, freshman from Sacramento, California. Give it up. Dickinson rims out on a three ball, kept alive by Diabate. And a loose ball foul is called. Hot start for Colorado State making shots from the perimeter. Well, it's just, you know, Stevens going over Dickinson. That's a tough shot because the big guy was extended right there, and then he comes right back and goes fast. Where's the double team? Nobody home. Get two. Good action early in Indy. Let's bring in the third member of our crew. Happy St. Patrick's Day to Jamie Erdahl. Well, Michigan wasn't very lucky coming into this week when they found out they'd be without Devontae Jones. From an X's and O's standpoint, a challenge without your point guard. Emotionally for this team, this story is heartbreaking. Jones poured his soul into three years of basketball at Coastal Carolina to never hear the Chanticleer's name called. He transfers to Michigan, embodies everything they needed from a point guard perspective, was very emotional when they got the call that Michigan would be in the tournament, suffers a concussion Monday. He's back at Ann Arbor, but he says, I'm not alone. My teammates have me. Jawan 
Howard has reached out several times. There is a chance he could be cleared by a game on Saturday, guys. And, and Jimmy, he impacts the game in a variety of ways. Scoring, his assist numbers, his rebounding, his toughness, his aggressiveness. They're going to miss him. When you think about it, too, that Collins only averaged 10 minutes a game. Stevens short on the jump shot, and it's caught there by Moores. So Moores into the game, sophomore from Auckland, New Zealand, blocked. Dickinson has been a serious factor around the rim. Yeah, that was out of a start of a 2-3 zone, and they switched right back to man-to-man. -to -man. Good reaction by Michigan. Shot clock winding down. Stevens keeps his footing, ball fake. Rivera, he missed it. Should have been a shot clock violation. It is, so no fast break opportunity for Michigan. Ball did not hit the rim. Nico Medved, you know, we asked him about this squad, and he said they've been such a pleasure to coach. This group came together last year. They thought they had a chance at the NCAA tournament. They did not get the bid, but it fueled them, and he just likes the mix on this team. Working around the perimeter, Houston. He's got a smooth delivery, comes up short, rebounded by Moore, 6'10", 260. But as a team, 34% Michigan from the three-point line, so clearly Colorado State is just trying to bait them into shooting the ball from long range. They are 0 of 4 from beyond the arc. Jumper doesn't go for Chandler Jacobs, former Division II All-American. <laughs> Roddy, <laughs> nice footwork, David Roddy. Getting to the interior. Some guys know how to search for bodies defensively, and Roddy is one of them. He went searching to try to get a shoulder into the chest. Nice defensive effort here by Jacobs. So the takeaway, Jacobs is really long as Brooks turns it over. Seven-point lead for Colorado State. Jacobs looking for an opening. Swing it. Moore's not looking to shoot it from out there. That's not his game. Rivera puts it on the deck. He's defended by Johns. Keep the ball moving, eight to shoot. Dribble drive, Jacobs whips it to the corner. Ball is popping, now it's stagnant, deflected, steal. It was Brooks who got the deflection. Yeah, with three seconds on the shot clock too, that possession was going nowhere. Brooks tries to make the move on Stevens. Oh, mismatch. Dickinson, the bank shot goes. Nice reaction just then. Brooks understanding very, very quickly that Stevens was caught in that screen. He got the ball right where he's supposed to to the big guy, and he finished it off. Well executed. They're five of seven right now. I am from the uh, underneath the basket inside the paint. Colorado State with a 16-11 lead. John's tight defense on Roddy. Diagonal feed. Long distance jumper short from Jacobs. Long rebound. Rivera. So they get a reload here. Stevens to Roddy. In and out. David Roddy shoots it at 45% from three-point territory. Good curl here by Houston. Houston trying to give it up, deflected, out of bounds. Michigan will retain possession with Colorado State in front, 16-11. And watch the right shoulder of Roddy. He goes looking for some action right there and finishes it off with the hesitation pullback drive to the basket. And then here's that slip cut with Dickinson using the size advantage. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Colorado State has the lead on Michigan moments ago. Jamie with Rams head man, Nico Medved. Coach, Michigan has size. How have you been able to offset their length in the first part of this game? You know, we've done a nice job, you know, bringing help to the post a couple of times that way. And our guys are really, really playing hard. But, you know, we're only eight minutes in or whatever it is. So we got to keep up the battle. and. We're, you know, we're making some shots down there, but we can't just keep settling. We've got to stay aggressive attacking the paint. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, thank you, Jamie. Michigan with possession, trailing by five. Dickinson has been strong on the inside. Pass back to the outside. And it's out of bounds. Kobe Bufkin, the freshman from Grand Rapids, Michigan, had just checked into the game at a turnover. Yeah, that's where the pressure is, I think, Ian, on Bufkin and... and uh and Collins in terms of matching it up. They haven't played a whole lot of time, 10, 11 minutes all season long. Big responsibilities to run the point. That's why when Brooks is on the floor, you'll see him touching it a lot. And it's going to go the other way. And there might be Moores over there with an illegal screen. So trying to set up offensively. Colorado State doesn't even get into a set. When we talked to Juwan Howard about the young guys. He said, look, this is about opportunity, and I trust them. 
with the injury to Devontae Jones. Boy, yes, uh, we had very few whistles in the first five minutes of action. Now we've had bang, bang, bang. Yeah, it looked like John's that time on the top of the key area. It was. So Moore's called for the foul on one end, then Johns gives it back to Colorado State with a foul on the other end. Moore's outside for Jacobs, played at Dallas Baptist Division II All-American. Ball fake, Tonjay, long strides, fade away, short. Rebounded by Dickinson. Better step ups by Michigan all of a sudden the last two or three minutes. Terrence Williams is in, sophomore from Clinton, Maryland. Brooks on a bounce. Dickinson, oh, too hot to handle. He thought he had Johns cutting along the baseline, and Johns was expecting a shot from Dickinson. Yeah, I, I think you're right on the money with that, and I think Dickinson could have taken that little eight-foot shot that he can bury, a little floater he has going through the lane there. So a mistake by him, but you can see the, the aspect of trying to get it to a teammate for a layup. That is six turnovers for Michigan. Stevens, an open look, off the rim. Rebound scooped off the ground. Nice pass. Up ahead, the acceleration doesn't go. Buffkin had an opportunity for the finish. Instead, Colorado State is running. Shake and bake, and the layup is good. Chandler Jacobs getting to the rim. That shows you just how quickly it can change from side to side, but that was a dandy of a pass by Brooks on the fast break just then without a completion on the catch. And Jacobs is a good defensive player as well. Tries to get back on Brooks. Off the rim, no. Dickinson keeps it high, and he's fouled. <laughs> so he never really gathered. No, but he kept it high, like you said. So here's that opportunity coming down. Look at this one, just an easy layup. They give it away. And then the smart play by Jacobs. He sees no one behind, and that's always a great opportunity from the dribbler's perspective, small forward and or guard to take it to the basket. Dickinson shoots it at 79%. Watch CBS Sports HQ for the best coverage of the big dance catch, tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, much more on the free 24-7 Sports News Network. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. It's like a hockey substitution for uh, Colorado State. Kendall Moore, David Roddy check in. And we get our first mention of a second sport from Jim Spinarkle <laughs> at the 925 mark of the first half. Keep track uh, we, if you want to. Are we to. tracking that today? I am. The fans can as well at home. So we've had basketball and hockey mentioned from Jimmy so far in the first game of the tournament. And here's a 2-3 walk by Michigan. Well, left the shooter open. Jalen Lake can't hit the three, and it's rebounded weak side by Johns. Eli Brooks trying to drive it. Defense was there. 18-13 lead Colorado State. Bufkin circles, nearly had it taken away. Close, very close. Bufkin not looking to shoot it. Back into the hands of Brooks under nine minutes to play. First half. High screen, Diabate. Brooks drags the defender with him, and he turns it over. He got caught in no man's land. Colorado State made four of its first five three-pointers. They've missed their last six. Roddy on a kick for Jacobs. Spread it now with eight to shoot. Long distance jumper doesn't go for Tonjay. Well, I was watching Roddy just set a screen down there. It's all screen. Yeah, big fella. <laughs> he, can put a, he can put a body on him. He was a high school football star, and that's not surprising, the no. way he carries himself and approaches the game. That's the third sport mention. There you go. Very good. John, swing it inside. Diabate. Yeah, he's got to start getting some touches, but a little cleaner. They're double team in the post constantly. Bufkin with a shot clock winding down. Lines it up. Side of the rim. And it's rebounded by Tonjay. Tonjay very smart just then. A lot of times guards will run towards the other end of the floor when the shot goes up. He hung around for a baseline rebound. Offense has gone stagnant on both ends. Colorado State leads at 18-13, 7.35 to play in this first half. Roddy, isolation. And it was a great six-minute pace to start, too. Swing it. Tonjay, terrific move, but he couldn't finish on the corkscrew. Couldn't get his legs underneath him because of that squeeze. Here's a good stale. Oh, the steal wow. by Jacobs, the acceleration. He will take it in for the two-handed flush. Chandler Jacobs, the all-time leading scorer for the Patriots of Dallas Baptist. 
and the Lone Star Conference Defensive Player of the Year. It's now working in Division I play. Game summary, Michigan is yet to make a three, and the Wolverines have turned it over eight times so far in this first half. Moments ago, Jamie Erdahl with Wolverines head man, Jawan Howard. Coach, you didn't wait for a whistle to be called there. You called that timeout yourself. What were you seeing from your team? I got to get them organized. You know, right now, I don't know if it's the jitters, but they're so competitive. What's about now just taking our time and taking care of the basketball. At this moment, we have too many turnovers. Are you attributing that to Devontae Jones' absence? Oh, we always miss Devontae. I mean, he's our primary ball handler. He does a great job of making decisions for us. But right now, he's home. So we got to be able to take care of business on the floor. Control the controllable. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Jamie, good points right there because five assists a game for Jones. He's their third leading scorer. But more importantly, it throws the rhythm off on Michigan in terms of having a new guard come in there to run the traffic to make things happen. So this is a big adjustment on the fly with those eight turnovers. Only four points for Michigan over the last eight minutes of action. Can Diabate get involved offensively? He's matched up with Roddy. Handoff. Brooks. Pull up. Pop. Off the rim. No good. And a hold underneath. It's going to go the other way. Diabate cannot believe it. Seven-point lead for Colorado State. We've got a timeout in Indianapolis, the 2022 NCAA Tournament underway. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever. Like the GOAT. Is this fact check? Debate the GOATness. Now, Diabate was very upset about this call just before the timeout. And you look at him, I look at his body. It's not much of a foul, but he's riding Roddy just a little bit to throw him off balance. So that's what they caught him on. I still think as he's sitting on the bench when he comes back out, they have to give him a couple of touches on the block. Second foul on Diabate, Roddy. Nice double team down low, huh? Gets it back off the double. He's getting frustrated. Lane opens up, and a finish for Tungjay. Have they ever taken advantage of whenever Dickinson starts to stand up straight and come out away from the pain area, they're recognizing that and going right by him. Real good understanding of what you're trying to accomplish on the drive by Colorado State. Eli Brooks trying to feed the post. And watch the double team's going to come that way if he's not sitting still. Poked out of bounds by Roddy. Watch Dickinson go out. When a big guy goes out, generally, he doesn't mean to lock his legs and stand up straight, but that's kind of what happens. And then a guard or a small forward could go right by him because he recognized he can't get down in defensive position. Stevens and Thomas come back in for Colorado State. Bufkin off the penetration. That's another turnover for Michigan. This has been a disjointed first half offensively for the Wolverines. Nine turnovers. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. 2-3 look here, and Colorado State defensively is really squeezing in the paint area, keeping everything tight. They can bring the lead to double figures. Now it's back to man-to-man. -man. Right out of the 2-3, they switch right back into a man. Thomas gets a touch out front. Dickinson all the way out. Roddy, oh, what a good-looking stroke. David Roddy, bullseye from the outside. And how about Williams going right around the back of that screen? Roddy recognizing that in a hurry. Four points in the last nine and a half minutes. San Diego State, Providence on True TV. You can check out the action there. Houston misses from the outside. Colorado State just playing the percentages. Roddy, nice cross slow. and kick. Look for the open man, Thomas. Oh, he's feeling it from the outside. Deshaun Thomas, another long distance connection. Boy, does Michigan ever need a bucket right now to slow down the Colorado State pace. It is a 10-0 run. Who can step forward here offensively for Michigan? Look at the way they're walling up, though, in the middle of the floor here. They're not allowing anything to really come easily in the paint area. Foul is called on the baseline against Colorado State. Beautiful dish just then across, and it keeps the ball hopping for Thomas's around the horn three. 28-13. The sixth seed in the south in front. Acceleration. Collins banks it home. 
and one. Well, sometimes guys stop when they hear that whistle and they feel the body bump. But Collins making things happen. You'll see the screen's going to be set right here. And watch when he comes down. He gets hit right there and doesn't stop, though. And a beautiful underhand finger roll with a little bit of English on it. Collins has ability off the dribble. But you mentioned it. He and Bufkin did not see a lot of playing time over the course of the season. Kendall Moore picks up his first foul. Collins is a 45% free throw shooter. He only played seven minutes their last game, and Bufkin didn't play at all. 28-16, Michigan puts three on the board. Roddy, nice stripped Look at that. of the ball. Collins will angle in for the stuff. Frankie Collins making it happen on the defensive end. Yeah, he got Roddy to fall just a little bit lackadaisically just then, coming across half court. They were some quick hands right in front of us. Isaiah Stevens sets up the offense. Roddy out on the perimeter with 15 to shoot. 28-18, Colorado State. Notice how they space the floor, another deflection. And it's Collins who got his hand on it, so he's starting to make some things happen here for Michigan. And watch the way he just very quickly Right there, as it starts to leave Roddy's hands, that's a perfect time to go for that steal because obviously when it leaves his hand, it takes that much longer to go to the floor and back up to his hand. Stevens, wow, rims out on a three. That look, <laughs> was right on. <laughs> looked like it was going through. Acceleration by Brooks cut off. If I were a play-by-play -play guy, I would have called that ahead of time. If you were a play-by-play -play guy, <laughs> we'd be in trouble. Yeah, well, because then I'd have to be the analyst. <laughs> Oof, uh, foul is oh called on the other end. We'll step aside. Back to Indy after this. And now, Thrilling Drives presented by Nissan. Well, keeping yourself active, and Jacobs right here. Watch him with the big stand, the long arms, and just gets enough of a deflection, but then smart enough to gather it back in and finish it off. 28-18, Colorado State's got the lead on the 11 seed in the South Michigan. It's the highest seed Colorado State has ever had. Six seed, tremendous season they put together at 25 and five. They only lost to three teams this season, San Diego State, UNLV, and Wyoming. There were multiple losses in there to get them to five. Meanwhile, Michigan, 17 and 15 this season, played a very challenging schedule. Nine teams in the Big Ten made the field of 68. So battle tested wins over Purdue, Iowa, Ohio State, victory over San Diego State. Now Colorado State actually, I in the beginning of the year, they started 11 and 0 and played at San Diego State, one of those games that they made up on the fly with the schedule. And they got trounced by 30 points in that game and you wondered whether they'd be able to bounce back from it but they have really done a nice job in pulling things together over the last two and a half months wow another nice. jumper <laughs> to sean thomas heat check well he shoots it at 38 percent but i'll tell you one thing when nobody's out there guarding you you basically become a more confident shooter and he is showing it right now he's got 12 points to lead all scores he averages five and a half per game Collins had a notion. Williams, high arcing three, doesn't go. Rebound, Houston keeps it alive, but it's grabbed by Stevens. Michigan still looking for its first three of the day. 0 of nice 7, look. the cut. Thomas backs it out for Roddy. Wait, another? No. No. That was one that he felt good, but he did not ready himself for that shot. Nice cut. Back door, and it's Houston on the finish. Michigan finds a soft spot there. And the freshman Caleb Houston now with four. And the paint point 16 to 8 in favor of Michigan. You gotta think they're gonna continue to look for that opportunity. Stevens puts it on the deck. Good help there. The double team from Houston. And a trap if you want it. They've got it. And the ball squirts out. Colorado State with an open look. It's a three for Kendall Moore, a four-year starter for the Rams over a thousand career points at Colorado State yeah. they're eight of 18 from three-point territory yeah, that one will drive Juwan Howard Michigan fans crazy because they had a good strong double team and that ball just squared across the court 34 22 Colorado State great position Dickinson 
And a timeout called by the bench, Nico Medved. Ten point lead for Colorado State, 202 to play, first half. Our tournament summary, first four winners have had a lot of success in the NCAA tournament. Wright State gets its first NCAA tournament win. Notre Dame, tremendous effort against Rutgers. Double overtime victory. Also, my apologies earlier. South Dakota State is matched up with Providence, so never want to shortchange the Jackrabbits. You can check out the action right now on True TV. Yep, they score in bunches, too. Providence, great year this year, though. Out of the timeout, Jacobs with under two minutes to play in this first half. Ten-point lead for the Rams. Way outside. Moore makes his move, takes the big with him. Shot clock is down to five. And he steps on the baseline. Chandler Jacobs turns it over. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Scores, highlights, latest NCAA tournament news. It's all coming up. AT&T at the half. Trying to get Collins with a little pick and roll and mismatch option. They didn't switch on that one. Trying to get it back to single digits. Oh, nice maneuver by Frankie Collins as he gets to the 10. And as a point guard there, you're trying to set your big guy up, Ian, but the key is to make sure you're looking and keeping your dribble alive so you can do something if something doesn't really build on itself. 34-26. This is a Michigan team that opened the season 7-7. Seven and seven. After 14 games, they had a COVID shutdown in there as well. And here's that isolation again against the big Stevens. That nice. is nice. Yeah, and that's also an adjustment that Michigan is going to have to make at the halftime break. One of the real leaders of this squad, over 1,300 career points. Isaiah Stevens puts Colorado State in front by 10. They may have gotten five buckets on isolating Dickinson in the middle of the floor. Here's where he's real good. Dickinson with the offhand. Hunter Dickinson gets the deuce. 12 points. He averages just over 18 per game. 36-28, Colorado State. There's a four and a half second different shot clock. The game clock We're winding down first half. Stevens taking his time. Mountain West freshman of the year in his first season with the Rams. Now in his third year. Jump shot. Roddy. No. Michigan. They've got five seconds to work with. Brooks met by Roddy and a foul called at midcourt. And that is going to put Eli Brooks to the free throw line. A 90% shooter. 17 foul against the Rams and the second personal on the Mountain West player of the year. David Roddy. And Roddy making a mistake just then. I understand trying to slow him down, but gets the body in the way. It's still going to be a bit of a heave for Brooks. Yeah, exactly. Three seconds at midcourt. Maybe he can get just in through the three-point line. And with the way this guy shoots free throws at 90%, it's like giving, not to jinx him, but giving two points away. So you're acknowledging yeah. an announcer jinx. You've just, just stated just basically. Just for you. <laughs> well, just for me, not you. Oh, no, apparently you as well. <laughs> Half court at the horn. Oh. Short on line for Jacobs. And we hit the break with Colorado State leading Michigan 36 to 29 at halftime. We'll send you to AT&T at the half. Coming up after these messages, the 2022 NCAA tournament underway. Let the madness begin. You're watching the men's basketball championship. Getting ready for second half action here in Indianapolis with Colorado State in front of Michigan. Let's check out the Buffalo Wild Wings first half stats. Michigan takes an over from three point territory. Colorado State lives at the three point line and nine turnovers for the Wolverines. Welcome back everybody. I am Eagle Jim Spinarco and Jamie Erdahl. Your thoughts from that first half. What stood out for you? I would focus back on what you just said. 0 for 7 Michigan from that three point line. But keep in mind the last nine games they've only shot 30 percent from the three point line. In fact they, they and Rutgers in the Big Ten are two teams that didn't shoot a whole lot. But when you look at the other side of the equation on the three pointers notice on these two plays here comes Dickinson late 
to get out there. They get Dickinson involved in a pick and roll. It goes back out to the top of the key area for another three. They really executed well, Colorado State, in terms of getting the big guy involved. Send it over to Jamie. Well, the problems that are plaguing Michigan, according to Phil Martelli, are affecting them at both ends of the court, and that is communication or lack thereof, and it's causing the Wolverines to be stagnant. Martelli told me the only part of the game that they won was the final four minutes of the half, which is ironic because that's when Nico Medved called his first timeout for Colorado State. He told me he felt like his guys were gassed. As that play went on, he said Hunter Dickinson got too deep in the paint. They have to fix that. All right, Jamie, Colorado State with possession to open up this second half. Roddy trying to establish himself. He does on a fadeaway. David Roddy splash. He gets that footwork going very well, but then did you notice at the end of that play, he stops, he plants, and pushes away from the basket for a huge amount of separation for his easier shot. He's got nine points. He averages 19 and a half. Step back, Jay. Houston, short. I think Michigan has to go back to the post and get ready to shoot the three ball on rhythm shots and let Dickinson throw the ball out to them. Rams up by nine, taking the baseline. Stevens, now he's got the big with him. Spread it for more. Touch here for Thomas. Knocked down four three-pointers first half. Backdoor cut, layup doesn't go. Tunje, and the rebound controlled by Michigan. When they space the floor, and Colorado State does that a lot, backdoor opportunities will start to persist. Collins goes behind the back with it. Diabate sat on the bench for an extended period with those two fouls in the first half. Dickinson, the floater. Yeah, you have to get it to him. You have to get it to the blocks and then let him make the decisions. He's smart enough in terms of his quickness with the release. He's got terrific hands and passing ability. Let him play point center for a few minutes. He's the high scorer with 14 points. 38-31 Colorado State and a foul called. It's going the other way. Michigan will take over as Moore ended up on his backside for Colorado State. It's going to be a little bit of a run over right there. Good call from the officials. It's just a big body bump when you have a stationary. You can't go. You have to go around that stationary screen. You can't go through them. Kendall Moore, who originally was recruited at Drake by Medved. The flip doesn't go, but a foul. And Eli Brooks will head back to the free throw line. So watch him start moving down to the post area. Continues to keep the hand up, which is a good target. Where does the ball go? It goes right to that target. So teammates know that he puts that big lead hand out. You want to just put it right on him so he has the money shot right after it. Michigan is playing without its starting point guard. Devontae Jones suffered a concussion earlier this week in practice. Did not make the trip here to Indianapolis. Keep in mind, Michigan was just here in Indy for the Big Ten tournament. Yeah. And obviously spent a lot of time here last year when the NCAA tournament was held exclusively in the city of Indianapolis. Well, they have a run in them or two. I, there's no question about that. The question is, how are they going to do it? And I think they got to funnel it towards the middle of the floor and to the post and then kick out. Nice hands by Dickinson. A steal ahead. Collins takes it to the rim for the bucket. Boy, how about your center triggering a fast break by defensively handling the the ball out front and just triggering that fast break and he's terrific there it is and who helps him out but the little guy comes in and scoops it up Collins nice move right there may have been a foul on that left wrist too, going to the hoop a 6-0 burst for the Wolverines Michigan on a run Jalen Rose on his feet All-American part of the Fab Five with Michigan at halftime photo opportunity with the band nice a lot of love here from Michigan faithful Terry Mills former Wolverine is the radio analyst Mark Hughes former standout Los Angeles Clippers assistant GM he's in attendance Colorado State trying to get things organized with Roddy the back end and a foul called on the floor Colorado State has not attempted a free throw yet and we are at the 1747 mark of the second half. So the foul called on Dickinson. There's Mark Hughes, great guy. Wolverine pride, as we know, runs very deep. A lot wow. of go blue. Half court set here for the Rams. Their lead has shrunk to three. Thomas, handoff, more. 
Thomas had the hot hand in the first half. Yeah, they were raining down in the first half. Now all of a sudden, perimeter defense a little better. Stevens, kick, jumper, more. Got a three. Keep dwelling on it, Ian, but they're doing a fabulous job of getting Dickinson away from the free throw line extended, and they're utilizing that drive by him to free up shooters. Stevens and Moore both highly confident. The kick, that was actually intended yeah. for Diabate. It sure was. Collins, he's been a game changer. Frankie Collins drains the triple. You know, maybe he got some of that anxiety off the deck in terms of beginning, coming in, having to start, make things happen. Now all of a sudden settling in, especially in the last five, seven minutes of the first half. First three of the day for the Michigan Wolverines. 41-38, Colorado State. Ronnie lines it up, rims out, and it's rebounded by Houston. Don't want a fast shot here. You want to make sure you get something good. Collins feeds the post. Yeah. Dickinson is fouled immediately on the double. Yes, Stevens a little touch late there, coming down with the hands. I like the quick entry pass for the post. Third foul on Stevens, who comes in just swinging the hands a bit. And that's going to force Nico Medved to make a change here. Chandler Jacobs, the graduate student, will replace Isaiah Stevens. Eight points, three assists for Stevens. Michigan down by three. Now looking on the right side to Dickinson. Dickinson coughs it up. A steal for Moore. Push up the floor. Two-man game. Jacobs lines it up. Missed it from the outside. Pumped up in the air. That controlled by Tonjay. Moore lets it fly. Short, long rebound. Tracked down by Jacobs. Easier to get your motor going in offensive rebounding. Jacobs had that quick shot. He was just on the floor for about five seconds, it seemed. Eighth offensive rebound of the day for the Rams. Oh, pretty fake. Jumper, Tonjay, off the rim. I think when Dickinson gets that ball in the post line, he's got to watch for the double team and then look for diagonal passes out of it. Collins is fouled on the pass. Boy, Frankie Collins has Kicked looked like up, a it? different yeah. player in this second half for Michigan. First round of the 2022 NCAA tournament. Colorado State, Michigan going head to head. First four coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues tonight, 7 p.m. on ESPN2. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Well, Jawan Howard putting trust in his freshman, Frankie Collins, doesn't have much of a choice. There aren't a lot of options because of the injury to Devontae Jones. Collins getting the start took a little while to get going, but in this second half, he has played a major role. Sure has, leading the charge, that breakaway layup. Very, very important so far. It is the dump down a little too late, though. Step in by Thomas, creates the turnover. Nice set, nice design. I think Dickinson just went a little too quickly just then. Kendall Moore gets word from Nico Medved. Just about five minutes gone by in this second half. Three-point lead for Colorado State. They've missed their last four attempts from the field. Roddy, swing, jumper, got another! Deshaun Thomas has been like Steph Curry. <laughs> Diabate that time was the guy they put and featured defensively to get him out on the floor, not fast enough. He is five of six from long range. Brooks looks for an opening. The jumper short. Diabate on the inside, the box out, and the bucket. Remember when he had that in the first half, he did not go exploding to the basket. Much, much better to take it right to the glass when you get that offensive rebound. His first points of the day, 44-40, Colorado State. Thomas fend off. Got a bump from yeah. Dickinson. Hard to get through the wall underneath. Moore using the screen. Uh-oh. Thomas. Off the heel, he's human. <laughs> he is. Diabate looks ahead. He may have hurried that one just a touch. Maybe get a touch to Diabate. Had a mismatch for a second, now they switched back. Brooks using the Dickinson screen, continues on the drive, flips it up old school, doesn't go. That was Roddy working the glass defensively with the box out. Roddy averages 7.6 rebounds per game. Also more than a block and a steal per game as well. Tonjay puts his head down, swings it. Thomas forced to kick it out. 
Moore, tight defense from Collins. Uses that screen. Shot clock at five. Tanjay takes a peek. He's like a tornado, and Dickinson gets there. Shot clock violation. How about the footwork of Dickinson just then? And by the way, the rest of the Michigan players in terms of their footwork on the perimeter reacting. Dickinson comes down the lane. Now watch how he stands straight up. He doesn't initiate the contact. That's well done, just putting the wall straight over his hands up over his head. And by the way, he doesn't come down and try to swipe at the ball. Really seen the maturity of Hunter Dickinson this season. Step in. Stevens leans in. The flip well, doesn't go. Got a break. Collins with the board. Up the floor in a hurry. Catch. Fire. Houston. Count it a three on a rainbow delivery. Caleb Houston. And with Brooks pushing the, the tempo just then in the middle of the floor, that allowed Houston to say, hey, my guy's coming at us. He's coming fast. Let me get my feet set so I can catch and go as they go back into a 2-3 look. Michigan went 0 of 7 from downtown in the first half. They've made their first two here in the second half. And a foul called on Eli Brooks. What's That's his first. Colorado State had an opportunity right here as Stevens steps in and goes to the basket. And just doesn't get it to roll. But watch the quickness. Look at Houston. He's begging for that ball in the corner to let it go. And Michigan keeps looking, giving you a 2-3 look to start, but then they switch right out of it to a man-to-man. -man. And a foul is called against Michigan, Ding up in the half court. It's going to be Diabate, his third. Coca-Cola, zero sugar, the best Coke ever, like the GOAT. Is this fact check? Debate the GOATness. Roddy will toss it in. This is a one-point game with 13-12 remaining in this first half. Colorado State has won 20 or more, three consecutive seasons. Thomas, push shot, no. Rebounded by Collins, who can get off the floor. Yeah, Michigan is containing the perimeter drives very well now. Houston, that would have been for their first lead. Brooks, the offensive rebound, got him! Brooks' job right there, Ian, is to start to lean towards half court for defensive positioning, but he recognized a quick bounce and a far bounce on the long shot, and he basically stayed there perfectly to read that play. First lead of the day, 45-44. They've outscored Colorado State 16-8 in the second half. Wow. Tip by Houston. Jacobs has got it. Challenging Collins. Baker is good, and the foul. Good understanding by Jacobs just then to recognize his size advantage. Not much, but he gets off the floor pretty quickly. Juan Howard's squad has really picked up the pace at both ends of the floor, and here's the size. A little bit of a body bump, not much, but he got him. And here we go, watch this kick out, the long three on the left side. Nice read there by Brooks. And an old-fashioned mid-range jumper. First free throw attempt of the day for Colorado State. And Jacobs, 84% shooter, gives the Rams a two-point lead. And as a team, they shoot it at 77%, too. They handle the pressure. Michigan, half court here. Collins watched by the veteran Jacobs. Dickinson, dump it down low. Go, go up. Diabate misses it with the left hand. Floating just a touch to his left towards the left corner was enough to throw that shot off. Stevens zigzagging, gives it up. Moore's looking to keep the ball moving here with Dickinson closing in defensively. The drive, Moore's gets it to go off the window. Yeah, I don't think Dickinson expected that just then. Moore's averages four points per game. He's got eight. Collins, the handles. Lines it up, off the rim. Rebounded by Stevens. Rivera back in the game as well for the Rams. Touch out front by Moores. A lot of handoffs, there's one of them. Roddy, off the rim, rebounded by Houston. 49-45, Colorado State in front. Brooks looking for an opening. Gets cut off. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Michigan was an 11 seed in 2016. They lost to Notre Dame in the first round that year. Brooks, seven to shoot. Jumper is pure. Their activity is very good without the basketball initially. Collins looks like he's a little tired, too. He didn't touch the ball that set. 
But Jerron Howard has to feel really good about Collins because the confidence has really risen over the last seven or eight minutes of game time. Ten points for Eli Brooks. He averages just over 12 per game. This is a two-point lead for Colorado State. Moore's missed it with a left hand. <laughs> I was waiting for your call on that one. <laughs> I don't take requests yet. Brooks, the head and shoulder fake. Houston. Oh, yeah! A three! Oh, and they're just, they're doing to Colorado State what Colorado State did to them in the first half. They're finding the spots, they're playing with confidence. Totally different team when you can get a couple of threes to fall for you. 50 to 49, Wolverines. Brooks playing with confidence at the offensive end. And here's this mismatch, small versus big. Stevens against Dickinson. Wow, Shake, this. bake. Missed it off the window. Rebound cleared by Collins. Yep. Michigan looking to run. Yeah, never closed the show. Heat check. Houston. Yes, sir. How about a three. Might be time to talk it over. Yep. I thought they could have called a timeout the last possession. A Wolverines wave in this second half. And look at the baseline to the corner. Houston is just ready to fire. You can tell his confidence is on a, a rise right now. 37% on the season. It's going Michigan's way. Our game summary here in Indianapolis, Colorado State, terrific showing in the first half, took a double-digit lead on Michigan. Different half altogether as the number 11 seed in the South has come alive. Four of six from three-point territory in the second half. Dickinson with 14 points to lead the way. Timeout taken. Nico Medved, we check in with Jamie. Yeah, Nico, Nico Medved calmly approached his guys in the huddle, said, all right, that was Michigan's run. Now it's our time. He was a little frustrated with how stagnant the Rams have been on offense. You see a lot more ball movement now coming out of this timeout. It's an 8 nothing run, Jamie, for Michigan. Roddy forced to give it up. But nothing going towards the basket, though, Jamie, until this play right here. Jacobs, the spin, oh, double team taken away by Johns. Yeah, he had Moores underneath the basket because of that double team, and they missed him. Good deflection and steal. Ninth Colorado State turnover. We approach nine minutes to play in regulation. Four guys from Michigan in double figures, too. Houston, same thing. He's looking, trying to squeeze that ball in to Dickinson, and it's ripped away by Jacobs. Stevens on the move. He's picked up by Bufkin. Jumper on the way. It goes down for Jalen Lake. Big three. Sure it was, but you could see Lake running the floor and actually got into almost like a catcher's stance in baseball to get ready to catch it and go. Fourth different sport <laughs> mention so far today. Still early. Brooks, the jumper, rims out. Yeah. And it's rebounded by Roddy. When I said that Michigan has four guys in double figures right now, that means four of them are playing with confidence and scoring. Brooks being one of them. Colorado State looking to regain the lead here. Stevens, floater on the baseline. It's caught, but Moores couldn't finish it. Not sure if that was a shot or not. Nice hands. Stevens, hand. he was on the sideline. Terrific defensive play. Tried to get rid of it quickly. Hot potato. Out of bounds. Got a substitution. Moore will check back in, replacing Jacobs for Colorado State. Yeah, pushing the ball down the floor. And here's that little floater. They don't get this to go down in terms of the second opportunity. 53-52, Michigan. Brooks gives up his dribble. Feed it. Oh, Diabate. There you go. Baby hook. And he gets the roll. Every time he catches it, he's got to go with it, I think, because if you go quickly, you're not going to get double teamed. Colorado State finished number one in field goal percentage in the Mountain West this year, just under 49%. Number one in three-point shooting as well. Nearly a turnover. Morris hits the deck and saves. Good help by Stevens to get there in a hurry, too. Trying to turn the corner. Oh, that was creative, and it rims out. Rebounded by Diabate. Now, what happens there sometimes is you extend so far, it's difficult to control the last part of that shot. It gave me a little too extra on the spin to roll it out. Michigan shooting 59% from the field in the second half. They're running their sets with more confidence, too. Colorado State, 29%. Brooks good with the basketball. Brooks, he's tricky. Off the window, Brooks took a hard fall. Yep. Put two on the board. He's good with the ball off the deck, though. Understanding what the right time to go and not just settle for the stand-up. 
Impressive run by the Michigan Wolverines. Colorado State struggling. One of its last seven. Can Roddy get involved? Seals the area and lays it in. Boy, he have Johns pushed up that lane towards the foul line a little bit. Nice call from the Colorado State bench, too, to isolate him on the blocks. David Roddy, Minneapolis native. He's going to get his touches in the last six and a half minutes of this game. 57-54, Michigan. Brooks, he beats Lake off the dribble, feeds it. Oh. Diabate, bodies bumping, foul called on the floor before the shot. We'll get a timeout. So look at Brooks, turns the corner, nobody's home to block a shot. And then Roddy, they seal him down low. Look at the seal, you're not going to get around that body, 255 pounds of muscle. Second half action, the Michigan Wolverines have turned it around. They really have, the quality of shots are a whole lot better in the second half. We saw three guys in that video just then in terms of passing the basketball, being in the right spots at the right time. This half, Michigan seven of 12 on two point attempts, four of six on three pointers. Fourth foul on Isaiah Stevens, and he is now on the bench for Colorado State. Jimmy, an 11 seed, has beaten a 6 seed in five straight tournaments. This is the 11 6 matchup in the South region. Dickinson, one on one with Roddy. Good help, double team. Floater, good, and a foul! More cowbell for Dickinson! I wasn't sure that he was going to go with the shot when he saw the double team coming right there. But it's a great move because the lefty gets hit on his right side just then because of his positioning on the left side of the floor and the soft feathery touch to finish it off. Dickinson, 17 points, six rebounds. Michigan's got a six point lead as we approach six minutes to play. Roddy hands it off for Tanjay. And now Moore trying to get it inside for Roddy. They got to get to the free throw line. Roddy is fouled, and he will go exactly there right now, Jim. Roddy will post you up in a variety of ways, but this is just a straight one. Now he's going to use that body, and look at that left shoulder going across to get in some good position. Uh, and one thing that's interesting before he shoots the free throws, Colorado State averages 17 free throws a game on the attempts. They've had one mm. this afternoon. I'm not so sure you win this thing without getting more attempts at that line in the last six minutes of this game. That was the fourth foul on Diabate. Roddy short, 70% shooter. Diabate staying out there, too. David Roddy has been a do-it-all type performer for Colorado State. He splits a pair of free throws. Michigan up by five. A little full court action right now. 12 points for Roddy. They handle the pressure. Yep, take him out of their set. A little time off the clock, possibly. Diabate has to be really careful at both ends of the floor right now. Young player, you don't want to be too an anxious. Collins tried to drive it. Now we'll take it in. Oh, the left hand! for the freshman, Frankie Collins. What a step-up performance we've seen from him. 14 points on six of seven from the field, showing off his quickness. 60 of the 62 points have come from the starters for Michigan. Seven-point lead. Roddy, keep it on the perimeter for Jacobs. Yeah, he's just passing it around the perimeter, though, not with any purpose. Deep one, Lake. Count it for three. We love the way he sets himself up to get ready to go. It's kind of like ball in the air. I'm squatting, and then all of a sudden catch, and it's gone. Too late to react to it. His mom, Julie, was a star at Texas Tech. Jalen Lake, a much-needed triple for the Rams. Michigan 62, Colorado State 58, 5.04 to play. In regulation, this is first round action from Indianapolis. The 11-6 matchup 
in the South. Colorado State is out of timeouts. You know, and I'm not so sure just watching a lot of college basketball that sometimes, yes, as a coach, I'd like to have one timeout in my pocket for the last 30 seconds of a game. But there are so many stoppages. Michigan will probably call a timeout at some point in this game. You get the media timeout. There'll probably be one or two reviews. Not as big a deal, even though I'd still like to have it for the last shot if I ever get in that position. Michigan has made its last four shots. They've got a four-point lead. The Abate remains in there with four fouls. Yeah, it just has to be very careful. Nice High-low action. Dickinson, too easy. Dickinson. 19 points for Hunter Dickinson. Beautifully delivered, too. Nice call, too, after a timeout and a break in the action. Michigan up by six. Stevens playing with four fouls. Still think they need to get something going towards the basket. Ronnie one on one with Diabate. Oh, that's oh dangerous pass deflected and stolen by Collins. Yeah, I think Brooks had a hand on it too. Big possession right here for Michigan. We approach four minutes to play. Why not go back to the well? And that's Dickinson is the well down deep. Dickinson fake it. Shot clock at eight. Brooks makes his move. Oh, tough one, and he nearly gets it to go. Instead, Colorado State push up the floor. Another three on the way. Doesn't go this time for Lake. Rebounded by Brooks. Three on one break just then. I know this game has changed a bunch over the years, but I think that was a layup opportunity for Colorado State. And the Rams elected for a three ball. Michigan shooting 64% in the second half. That won't count for Dickinson. Foul called just outside the paint. It is Roddy, and it's number three. Here's that action, the high-low. You got look at how far up the lane he pushes Roddy, and now it's just a piece of cake scoring that one. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. 64-58, Michigan in front check in with Jamie Erdahl. I and Juwan Howard is back at the helm as if he never left at Michigan, but in reality he did. Let's review. Back in late February, February 20th at Wisconsin, Howard was involved in a post-game argument with head coach Greg Gard. He actually struck one of Wisconsin assistants. The players got involved. He was suspended five games. Two of his players were suspended a game. The school was fined. He returned last week for the Big Ten tournament. He told me, I put a staff in place that is trustworthy, that handled the situation like professionals. He felt like he he didn't have to have conversations with his players upon his return. Hunter Dickinson told me that he missed his leadership, but the whole team has moved beyond it. Uh, you're right, Jamie. Jawan gave a lot of credit to Phil Martelli, Howard Isley, Saudi Washington, the assistants. Brooks lunging attempt at the rebound, and a foul is called. It's a big one. Isaiah Stevens hits the deck, and that's the quota. Stevens, his fifth foul. A lot of activity on the glass on that one. And unfortunately, at the very end of this play, shot goes up, it's missed, everybody starts leaping for it. And then just a little bit of a grab, causing Brooks to fall down. And once again, you put a very good free throw shooter at the line. One thing for him to foul out, but then the, the other side, Brooks at 90% goes to the line right now. Eight points, five rebounds, four assists for Isaiah Stevens. So we'll see if he grabs him or pushes a little bit. That's a, that is a tough call against Stevens, too. Very tough. Yeah. And Brooks misses at the line. Empty trip for Michigan. 3.22 to go. 66-58. Wolverines. Tonje back in for Colorado State. Did they win this shooting the ball or driving the ball? Moore gives it up, and Jacobs nearly turned it over. Jacobs draws the defender. And now it's more. There you go. You got to go buy something. He yeah. lost it. Yeah, he did. Tried to do a little too much on that penetration towards the rim. Interesting. He was going to his left, too. But defensively, you try at this time of the game, especially, I want to jump somebody and make them go to their left hand. It's not that easy to make a conversion with your weak hand, nor is it easy to pass. Now, guys can do it, but not as easily as their strong hand. That is 11 turnovers now for Colorado State. Came in averaging 10 per game this season. Under three minutes to play. Double high screen. They're going to go high low if they can. 
Diabate, that ball was tipped by Thomas. Diabate trying to force his way on the baseline. And a foul call, the bailout, as Diabate was maneuvering towards the paint. It's going to be Thomas picking up his second. And Diabate, a 62% shooter, is at the line. One and one here for Michigan. Diabate, the freshman from Paris, attended IMG Academy, McDonald's All-American. Brings a 7-1 wingspan. Jacob sits. Tonje back in. A little offense, defense right now for Nico Medved. Two big ones. And the lead is 10. Especially for a 62% shooting free throw for a freshman. Moore turns the corner, layup goes. Smart. That's what's going to get Colorado State back in this. They have to go fast and quickly to the basket. And that was a quick hitter for the Rams, Kendall Moore. Michigan in no rush here. Collins getting instructions from Jawan Howard. They're playing a 10-second clock basically right now. Collins, spin, discard, offensive foul. Critical call at the 213 mark. And a nice jump there by Moore defensively, taking a guess on the spin. And let's see if he gets his positioning back. He's straight up. Yeah, he didn't create that contact. You could be moving a touch defensively. The offensive player caused that contact. Lake, pull up jump. Off the rim, no. And no Colorado State players underneath, so the uncontested rebound for Houston. Under two minutes to play. Michigan up by eight. Playing without their point guard, Devontae Jones, in concussion protocol. Suffered the injury in practice earlier this week. Diabate gets it back for Brooks. Nine to shoot. The jumper is good. Eli Brooks sticks it. He's getting at his way with the dribble, one or two dribbles, and the bounce, getting his legs underneath him for a smooth-looking jump shot. 14 points for Brooks. They need points. Tunje misses on a three ball. He banged it off the rim. Ten point lead for Michigan. And the clock starts to work against Colorado State. Acceleration. Brooks all the way. Missed it with the left hand. Out of bounds. Everybody trying to get out of the way. And it was last touched by Colorado State. Big Ten Conference against the Mountain West Conference. And right now, it's Michigan in front by 10. They are plus 17 in the second half. Jeez. Dickinson back in on Roddy. Double team. Houston, three on the way. No good. And the rebound knocked to the outside. Wow. Diabate out of bounds on the sideline. Good hustle oh, by was, Michigan. That was great effort. Great effort by two guys. Diabate and Collins going after it. We've got one minute on the clock. Looked like Collins was out of bounds when he wasn't touching it. The winner here will take on the survivor of the Tennessee Longwood game, which is coming up here in Indy. I think they're going to review that call. So Larry Scarato is leading that review. See, I, I think that might be OK. Look. He's Diabate got it. He's got is, it. And now the foot, the toe oh, goes down. Oh, he still had it. Yep. yep, he still had it on the fingertips. Good call from the officials. Yeah, Should be Colorado State ball. Open and shut case. Colorado State possession, one minute on the clock. Michigan up by 10. Rams have no timeouts remaining. Next foul will be 10 for Colorado State. Next foul on Michigan is seven. Now they're just trying to get the clock sorted out. And it's going to be right where we are now. One minute to play. This roller coaster ride of a season for Michigan. They were the preseason number four team in the country. That was short lived. Right. They need a couple of quick hitters, and I mean quick. And they were a bubble team. They had to sweat it out on Selection Sunday. Block foul called. Kendall Moore is going to get himself to the free throw line where he's a 79% shooter. Foul on Frankie Collins. It's number three on the freshman. 
free throw differential is wide. Yeah, Michigan is 14 of 16. Colorado State is two out of three. They might be bringing Bufkin in as a guard. Let's see if Collins goes out, because Collins is only at 45% free throw shooter, so you know the guard is going to be involved, point guard. So beat it by 30 percentage points. So it is Bufkin, the McDonald's All-American. Diabate, four fouls. Collins with three. Stevens has fouled out. Roddy is playing with three. And catch double team iron and maybe five seconds off the clock is the max you want to have right now when this ball comes in. Go for your steal. Two out of two for Kendall Moore. Eight point lead for Michigan. Whoa. Contact and a foul called as they triggered in to Eli Brooks. Who wants the ball? Brooks wants the ball to shoot the free throws. Chandler Jacobs there defensively will pick up his second foul. And here you have no choice but the foul. You don't want to foul a 90% free throw shooter, but Jacobs is doing all he can to get into the picture, try to get a deflection, a steal, a quick hitter. And they got Jacobs with the body on the lean forward. So Eli Brooks will shoot two. 15 points, he's five of seven at the free throw line. He's been a glue guy for this Michigan program. Collins back in for defensive purposes. And no timeout, so they're gonna run a little extra clock going up the floor right now. Well, they'll roll it. Yeah. Collins will wait there for it. And now scooped up by Moore. Get into it quickly. Roddy, 48 seconds left. Spin, Roddy, back shot, no, but a foul. Had an opportunity there, just couldn't finish it. So free throws here for David Roddy with 46.3 to play. Yeah, very good at the spin move. Here it comes, drop step, gets hit. I think they probably wish they could have started this action towards the basket about the seven minute mark. And Jimmy, that's number four on Frankie Collins. Missed free throw for Roddy. So once again, Juwan Howard will make the change. Bufkin replacing Collins. Reality is setting in right now for Colorado State. They've got a large hill to climb. 72, 63, 46 seconds left. Get it in cleanly. Dickinson back for Bufkin. Foul given. Not a lot of time. Ex fires off the clock. So that's exactly what they have to do if you're Colorado State. You neutralize every strategy defensively if you go to the free throw line and make your free throws if you're Michigan. 72-63. Wolverines. Calmly hits the first. Pretty good substitution, huh? Get the free throw shooter in there, better free throw shooter. Gets the basketball, and you may get away with two points right now to extend this lead. Nails a pair. Mm -hmm. Michigan has been money at the free throw line. 18 of 20, and here comes Collins. Yep, rotation. That's exactly what you want to do. But Collins is playing with those four fouls. Roddy. Outside. Tungjay can't hit the three. Rebound. Michigan's got it. Brooks needs some help, Time and out. he will take the timeout. 32.7 to play. Michigan is in control. They are up 11 with possession. 32.7 on the clock. Some great adjustments by Jawan Howard during the halftime break. Wolverines looking to finish it off here in Indy. Second half turnaround from the Michigan Wolverines. 74-63, they lead it. High fives for everybody. Jam and Rose getting involved with the Michigan crowd. Colorado State out of the Mountain West Conference. Got as high as 20th in the top 25 poll this season. Highest seed the Rams have ever had in the NCAA tournament. Wow. Steal! You knew he was coming after you more. And Dickinson just fell asleep there in that one. Big three. Short. It grazes the rim. Roddy. Tried to gather, foul is called. So Colorado State had a last gasp there, 16.8. They got the steal, couldn't get the three, and now Michigan will shoot free throws. Roddy has fouled out. 
for the Rams. And more importantly for Michigan, the time that runs off the clock. But see, right from behind, he doesn't realize that Moore can really get a lot of speed going, comes back down and just misses the quick one. Well, this has been a beautiful half by Michigan in reacting to their not-so-great first half. David Roddy, what a season he put together. This Ram squad started the year 11-0. They were 16-1 to open up the season. High hopes as Diabate comes up well short. 13 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists for the Mountain West Player of the Year, David Roddy. But he and Stevens have fouled out for Colorado State. One out of two for Diabate. Forty-six points in the second half for Michigan. Houston's got the board. Final seconds. Colorado State backs off. Could we see another March run for Michigan? They take care of business in the first round, and they knock off Colorado State. 75 to 63. The 11 seed advances in Indianapolis. The Wolverines, the Elite Eight last year. This season, you just didn't know what to expect. Game in and game out from Michigan. Second half, they put it all together and they advance. To Saturday's action where they will meet the winner of Tennessee and Longwood. They put together a great second half. 60% shooting from the floor. Four for seven, only seven shots from the three-point line, but they really changed it around a little bit where they were 0 for 7 in the first half, shooting it from three. Juwan Howard made some good adjustments on the fly in that half, and it paid big dividends at the final score. And the idea that you would be tournament tested. They played a very challenging schedule. You never know how that plays out come March. It clearly helped Michigan. They were ready for the moment today. Dickinson had 21 points. And the Michigan Wolverines advance to the second round. Jamie Erdahl with the head coach of the Wolverines, Jawan Howard. Coach, it looked like a challenging first half. Your guys look stagnant. How did the steady guard play help you guide to this win? Well, first, let me give credit to Colorado State, their staff and players. And, you know, you talk about stagnant because they had a great defense. Uh, they're a very competitive team, and they're also a very skilled team, well coached. Your team has been through a lot over the last month. What did you say to them at halftime to make it look like their energy had totally changed in the second half? Get back to our habits. You know, defensively, uh, we had to do a better job against that three-point line. Uh, we also offensively, I take our time. We give the them too many possessions. Uh, nine turnovers as well as you know overall we were just they sped us up and you know what's been our meat and potatoes is our inside play and uh, our guys really rallied together led by Hunter Dickinson. Well, hopefully those meat and potatoes can come back to start on Saturday. Yes I agree with you. <laughs> thanks coach. Yep. All right Jamie thanks very much. It's a win for Michigan. A number one seed last year in the East 11 seed this year in the South and Michigan is moving on. Tournament games continue live right now on TNT, TBS, and True TV. Longwood and Tennessee is coming up on CBS. We'll send you to our studio for Capital One Tournament Central after these Michigan messages. The Wolverines win it in Indy.